Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from Slider here. In this video, we are gonna look at something complicated in handlers. That is how to send messages from a main thread to a background thread using handlers in Android. Now we have been talking about handlers since the past three or four videos or so. So if you guys haven't seen them, please go back and check them out because this one depends completely on your understanding of the previous stuff that we have discussed so far. So inside Eclipse I have nothing great, there's just a main activity, if you go back to activity underscore main here, there is just a button, let me put some text for this button over. So there's this button which says send message to background thread, so every time you click on this button the on click attribute will trigger this method send message which is right here inside my main activity to Java and other than that I have initialized the button nothing great then I have created my thread which extends thread of course you can implement runnable if you want but I've just extended thread in this case and then there's the constructor and then there's the run method now the code inside the run method will run on the background thread if you remember very well about threads in Java this is what happens so what we want to do is we want to keep this my thread capable of having a message queue and processing its own messages. In other words, it's going to need a handler over here. So of course you have to import the handler by saying android.os.handler. Inside the run method, the first thing that we need to do is make this my thread capable of accepting multiple messages in terms of a message queue. So for that, we use this class called looper which is basically the component that handles uh, you can say messages so looper dot prepare now if you see this method prepare initialize the current thread as a looper now this gives you the chance to create handlers and then reference this looper before starting the loop and kind of stuff in other words what it does is it makes this thread into something which can have a message queue and which can which is capable of handling its own messages which keep coming so looper.prepare is what does that. The next thing you want to do here is initialize the handler inside the background thread. Remember, wherever the handler is initialized, that is the thread with which you can send messages to. For example, if the handler is initialized inside the constructor, then it is initialized on the main thread. Therefore, the handler will work as a person who handles messages towards the main thread but in our case here the handler is initialized inside the run method which is actually the part which runs in the background thread so inside this part when you initialize the handler it is responsible for handling messages that go towards the background thread from someone else the next thing that you want to do is say looper dot loop so you pick each message and what you want to do is process the message with the handler. For that you say looper.loop .loop, that says run the message queue in this thread. So that that's all you need to do. Now if you go up and you have my thread reference created here. Let's just create an object over here and say my thread equals to new my thread. Then say my thread dot start. Now at this point what has happened inside our onCreate method my thread has been initialized it has been started in other words the code inside the run method is going to start running as soon as this statement executes here. Now what we want to do is every time the user clicks on the send message button we want to send a message to my thread and how can we send a message to this thread using the handler it has so I'm going to say my thread dot handler dot post and here I can give a new runnable object inside inside which I can have a simple uh, log message in my case there's a class l.java which handles the log messages there's a static void m which says log.d webs and message and there's a static void s which has a toast inside it. so I'm gonna use l.m here by saying l.m and I'm gonna say thread dot just I wanna print the name of the thread where this message is running so I'm gonna say thread dot current thread dot get name so what is happening there is my thread that extends thread there's a handler which is gonna handle incoming messages to my thread and it is initialized inside our run method very specifically because we want to make sure that the handler is associated with the background thread so there's looper dot prepare that is gonna make our my thread capable of taking incoming messages from other threads and there's the looper dot loop which is gonna pick up one message at a time 
from our message queue and process it with the help of the handler and ultimately you have your but uh, send message method here once you click that there's my thread dot post and it's gonna work so let's see what happens at this point if you go here click run here so at this point it has been initialized here if you click on the button there you see it says thread 1182 in other words this code runs inside our my thread over here inside the run method when the handler is initialized once again if you go and click the button here thread 1182 click the button again so each time you click as you guys notice the thread is uh, this part where you say my thread dot handle dot post gets executed this code is run inside our my thread and so on so this is how you can send messages from your main thread to your other thread which is my thread now there are certain issues in this code here if you guys run into such problems and if you're interested to know what those issues are then I will talk about it otherwise this thing is done for now so in the next video we are gonna go further see what we can explore either about handlers or async task I'm not sure what I'm gonna start in the next video in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice